each year, people use an estimated one trillion plastic bags. Billions of them end up as litter. Now a college student is turning one of the world's biggest waste into a way to save lives. Reporter Kai Beach shows us how. That's where we would sleep back there, behind a trash can. When the streets are where you sleep, every little thing you have is a big deal. Me and my mom have lived through this. Sometimes our, our, our signs have said blankets before, not even spare change. And while blankets can help protect people from Mother Nature, there's nothing as strong as a mother's love for her child. My life. I would give my life for my son. So when Lily Silversmith saw her son cold and shivering on the streets of Salt Lake City, they had to find some way to keep dry and stay warm. There were times where the cardboard would get soaking wet, but these would still be great, just fine, sturdy as can be. That's when they found this. It takes a while just to make one. Bags to beds. What, three months? A product from a pending nonprofit that turns plastic grocery bags into sleeping mats. They gave it to us. Thank you, bags to beds. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saving me and my mom's life. Thank you. And this is where the project started, the University of Utah campus, where a now medical student had the idea of turning plastic bags into beds. That's why at every project I always say, collect the grocery bags that people are already using. Stitch by stitch, these college students are turning plastic bags yeah. into bedding for people that need them the most. Just a quarter of the bag, so just like this. Caitlin McLean started this project as a nice. way to reduce waste while also helping the homeless. I fluff it out. I found out about how many people who freeze to death in Salt Lake specifically every year. It's about 100, over 100 people every year who freeze sleeping outside. And I just couldn't wrap my head around that. McLean is now wrapping, cutting, and crocheting more of these sleeping mats, yeah. already finishing and handing out more than 100 of them, with the goal of having another 100 ready by this winter. Our goal is to make it so that these resources are so widely available that if a person needs a bed, they can get a bed. And then also to reduce waste to the point where we don't have plastic bags ending up in our waterways and killing animals. And while love alone isn't enough to fight off winter in somewhere like Salt Lake City, sometimes turning trash into treasure can do more than just warm the heart. If it wasn't for these bags to beds, we would not be here right now. It can save lives. I love you, Mom. I love you. I'm Kai Beach reporting. And you can visit bedstobags.org to learn more about the organization and for a tutorial on how to make the plastic bag beds.